rising up. Today we climb the corporate ladder with pain. I didn't really look too much into it, but I saw it looked pretty gorgeous, so I really wanted to try it. Uh, he's pointing at me. Oh, wasn't pointing at me. He just was point. Oh, oh, oh! I got the finger. I'm gonna uh boop boop the snoot. What? What's? Oh, okay. I don't know what button. Cartridge needs me to play soon. Uh. Excuse me? Yes? Oh my gosh. You know, this is like very accurate. This is incredibly accurate. Not obviously beating it, but fart. What is these, con what are these controls? Oh, so there are alternates. Okay, I was wondering which controls. Okay, so we got hits, blocks. Uh, that's about it. We have jump, Hits and blocks. What about jump hits? My God, we do. We have a wide variety of moves, and I think beating up the printer is the perfect way to start because of how frustrating printers make us. Because for some reason, they need you to com connect to to a network just to update certain firmware, and then it says it gets jammed. And it shouldn't be jammed because there's no reason for it to be jammed. Because all I had to do was open and close a hatch. And then it said, oh, it's unjammed. And nothing got moved. No paper got changed. Get out of here, Jeremy. I beat you down like three times. Jeremy, get out of my personal freaking space. For the love of everything, you are one of the most incessant employees. Why are you picking up your chair, Hofstead? You have no reason to pick up your chair. That is company property. And then what? You're going to blame me for beating everyone up when sales comes down and says, don't use company property. Oh my gosh. I guarantee you that's going to happen. Can I pick up this freaking chair? That's all I want. I want to pick up this chair. Let me pick up. Let me pick up a chair. I know I can use it. It's being pushed by my tootsies. Come on, come on. You know you want to let me move it. You got to move it, move it. I, by the way, the reason I had to freaking look up, or to not even look up, the reason I had to figure out the controls, is because there was no foretelling of the controls. I think it's on their website, but. Sadly, there was nothing on the actual whatever, and I'm not gonna go all the way to their website just to figure it out. I want to be a water cooler. No more casual water cooler talk by the restroom, and it stops me from going to the restroom because I feel too awkward. Which I don't. I don't think that's a problem in my current work, but that was an actual problem in my former work, and I've had some employees in. Oh, sick. I've had some friends that work um, in their work still have that problem. It's like, I get water cooler talk is a thing, but if it's right beside like a meeting room, a restroom, any room, don't have water cooler talk there. It just causes problems for other people that they don't want to speak up because it feels selfish of them. Oh my gosh. I am making up half of these work complaints, but like some of them are 100% real. Go, let's try to figure out which are which. It's, hey, that'd be a fun little game. But I'm not gonna reveal which ones are the truth. And that makes it all the more interesting. Get out of my, you're just an overrated version of TSA. I don't need your TSA in here. Don't touch me. You don't get to slam your hand on that glass. I'm gonna slam my hand up your butthole. Let me through. You know why I've survived? Because I'm too angry to die. There's my manager. I don't need your goth. Look at you. You got white hair, you're graying out already. 
Me, I'm only crying out because I work my butt off. You, you're overweight. You're eating McDonald's every day. I gotta survive because uh, this company looks like it's something that will drive you insane. Where do, where, where do I work? I'm most... I, I'm like trying to figure out work insults based on the location, but I don't... I'm kind of just guessing. Am I a sales department? I insulted sales earlier, but you know what? I'm in sales, so I'm angry at my own department! I'm gonna beat up the statue. Dude, he is strong. I can't even make up insults anymore because I'm actually just kind of admiring the combat. It's so simple, I'm just mashing one button. You should be afraid. <laughs> the absolute fear. Oh gosh. Because like, I guess I wouldn't say combat, but the way it, I can interact with the setting, the, the pixel art, all of it is just so, I don't know. I wouldn't say fascinating. I'd just say interesting. Why did you beat up your friend? What was what was that all about? And people are on fire. You are on fire, literally. Let's go in the corporate elevator. I'm gonna go meet the big boss so I can take out my anger. By the way, if you're still trying to figure out which are the real ones, that printer thing, that that's that's from personal experience. I hate having to deal with printers because it doesn't make any friggin' sense half the time especially with like the online updates but even without that it's like you need to fix it and I did fix it and why is it telling me I still need to fix it why is it telling me I need paper if I'm still yeah I'm still hung up on this printer thing why is it telling me that I need paper in a certain slot when I can just assign the setting to fit, get paper from just the second slot. Instead of trying to pick from four different slots where I put it in the same exact paper. And the thing is, I can't even access those settings because it's locked by an admin password. And why would you, I kind of get it. You don't want all the employees messing with the admin settings. I, I get it to that extent. And people have probably been messing with it in the future or in the past, I mean, I'm getting the time stream confused. But, come on. If you know right now your employees aren't messing with it, just take the administrative thing off and let people mess with the printer. If you don't want them messing with the printer, say that in the future or put a note on it and you can clearly see if somebody's messing with it. It's not like it takes them five milliseconds to quickly ding, ding, ding and then instantly they can change it. No, they have to go through a whole settings thing. This dude has not been downstairs. He's just taking it. I think maybe he knows what's going on downstairs. Look at that blood seeping from his mouth. He knows what's going on downstairs and he's like, I'm going to still transform. Oh, that's why he kept going, because he is a literal monster. Oh my gosh. I don't want to find out now if I can lose. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> why did this- okay, I- it went from I'm venting about a printer to I found out my boss is an extraterrestrial monster. It's like turning double dragon, not double dragon. Uh, is it double dragon? Uh, double dragon or whatever into an entire giant thing. Because there's one fighting game where you can defeat your secondary player. I think it is double dragon. But it's like double dragon turning into Contra. That's what it would be like. And Contra gets insane. You win. He actually did us a justice. Oh. I was gonna say, you wouldn't be arrested once they found the boss's body. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't control this. Mm -hmm. 
What is ha I can't. I can't. Okay. I couldn't control it at first. I'm flying. It's not... It's being very difficult to control. Okay, so it is up to... I thought it was inverted for a sec. Can I hit the buttons to... No? Oh. Okay. I actually kind of prefer inverted flight controls because I've been so used to it. There's literally no other reason. There's certain games where I, like... I have to have inverted because if I don't, it feels odd, like with a plane, because I think a plane actually does kind of have... Wait, no, it's switching back and forth. That's why it's weird. Sometimes it's inverted, sometimes it's not. Why? Because right now it's inverted. Is it if he's... No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, it's if he's on his, if he's on his back. It's correct. But if he's upside down, all the controls are inverted. Left is right, up is down. All that stuff. So you just got to be conscious if he's... There we go. So now everything's inverted and it feels a little more... No, it doesn't feel right. Something's wrong. Uh, I like how the credits are going, though. Okay, well, the credits are gone. Uh, wow, this is way more done than I would anticipate. I assume it's an infinitely running thing for a bit. But I really don't want to assume that too much because what if there's like a secret ending or something that you can get? And that intrigues me. But at the same time, I don't know. Feels like I'm just kind of endlessly drifting and things are just going to start looping and da da da. I'll cut back if there's something new. But if there is 100% nothing new, then. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this weird office ranting episode and weirdness, but uh, if you have any of these same feelings about work, you know what? Put it in the comments, vent a little bit, just hope your boss doesn't know your Google account. Or don't, actually just don't comment from your work account or public account because those can be tracked back and talked to you about as unfair as it sounds. It's, it sucks, but it happens. So, yeah. Have a great day, and uh, see ya.